Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Space Marine Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Goblin Gaming who sent me the box set out. If you check the description box down below I'll put a direct link to their web store. Okay so taking a look around the box which I have open at the moment because I'm filming with one hand uh, as I've left my tripod in my loft and I can't be bothered to get it if I'm honest. Um, but as we can see this is the easy to build Redemptor. And when it says easy to build guys, literally, if you look at that diagram there, you can see that there's like five or six components to building uh, this Redemptor and it's just going to go together so simplistically. Um, also, uh, they clip together as well guys, um, so you don't need to use glue, although I will be personally using glue to put this to kit together, you don't have to. Now, we get a, a manual, which... I don't know why you'd need a manual on this kit. It's going to be so uh, simple to put together, but they give you a manual anyway. Uh, as always with these new kits, it shows you where the decals go. Um, also, you get uh, stat guides uh, for the Redemptor as well to play the game. We also get a nice decal sheet, but unfortunately it only caters to the Ultramarine faction. Um, so all you Blood Angels fans, Dark Angels and Space Wolves, which again are main Space Marine chapters, are not accounted for, which is a shame GW. They used to uh, include multiple chapters. Now let's go on to the juicy stuff, the sprues. Now you get uh, two sprues, or there'd be three small sprues if this one was separate. And as you can see, we've just got a minimal amount of parts. But the most crucial thing, guys, is the detail is just as crisp, just as nice as the normal Redemptor. So when this is built and painted, you won't be able to tell the difference between this and the normal Redemptor, apart from the fact that some of the guns on the front of the Redemptor move and the carapace opens. But if you're building and painting a, a, a really detailed model, I don't see why you'd want to fiddle about with your guns and open a carapace anyway. It's just going to snap or break off, so I would have glued it down anyway. Uh, so I think this is an absolutely fantastic uh, kit, and uh, Goblin Gaming, it's literally just £20. Um, we'll come back in a moment, and we'll have it all built. Okay guys, so we're back with the Redemptor all built and it took me minutes guys, literally. And that includes drilling out a barrel and cleaning up nub marks. Um, it took me longer to build the custom base to be honest that I've uh, done for the Redemptor. So let's recap this Redemptor shall we guys. So it's going to cost you about £20 if you get it from Goblin Gaming, which is about £15 cheaper than the normal Redemptor. It's super simple to build and brilliant for novices to the hobby and also for people that are um, not new to the hobby it's brilliant for getting your miniatures built really quickly and getting the miniature onto the tabletop. Um, I'm trying to think of some negatives about this Redemptor kit. Um, the only negative guys is you're losing um, a little bit of posability on the front guns here uh, on the normal Redemptor you can move those little tiny guns there up and down uh, and this a little part of the carapace opens up as well but again I just don't see the point in that anyway it's supposed to be a, a model kit which you know once painted up you don't really want to be fiddling about with it to be honest apart from moving it on the tabletop uh, for games of 40k um, so absolutely love this kit guys really do i think it's an absolute bargain at 20 pounds and once this is all painted up you really won't tell the difference between this and a normal redemptor oh sorry there is one uh tiny gripe you only get one weapon uh now in the proper redemptor kit you get i don't know it's a plasma type we weapon i don't know what it's called um but i mean it would have been nice if they included that uh, plasma weapon but if you're going to use this like Gatling type cannon weapon anyway guys then then that's a, a moot point so uh, yeah so uh, let me know what you think of this Redemptor in the comments field down below uh, I absolutely love it and think it's an absolute bargain as I say uh, don't forget to check the description box for links to Goblin Gaming and thank you very much for watching this review of the Redemptor and I'll catch you in the next video